People do not respect weakness in men. People do not look up to weak men. People do not like weakness, right? Weakness is despised. No man who is weak will gain the respect of other men. No man who is weak will gain the respect, love, and appreciation of high quality women, okay? So with that being said, I wanted to explain to you why semen retention, one, has helped me tremendously with my masculinity and why it will help you unlock your masculinity, okay? Now, before I get into those points, I do want to mention I have a Facebook group around sexual transmutation, a concept popularized by Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich. If you want to join a community surrounded by like-minded individuals who are on the path to success, who are on the path to improving their masculinity, then you want to go check out my Facebook group, Sexual Transmutation Mastery. If you don't know what it is, make sure you watch my other videos on what is sexual transmutation or do some Google, do some research on what tra sexual transmutation is. Because if you're a man on NoFap and semen retention or you're interested in NoFap and semen retention, ultimately you are going to relapse or you're going to run into the problem of uncontrollable sexual urges. And the way to bypass or the way to cross and jump over this hurdle, this bridge, is to understand how to transmute sexual energy. And I also have a program called Sexual Manifestation for any of you guys who want to take a much deeper dive on understanding sexual energy, what sexual transmutation really is, how to do it, how to succeed on it long term so that you can manifest with your sexual energy, okay? Okay, so with all that being said, let's get right into it. Why will semen intention help you unlock your masculinity? Well, the very first thing you want to understand is that semen is life force energy, okay? Your semen has millions of swimming tadpoles, okay? These cells are alive. These cells are charged with life force energy, with electricity, bioelectricity. It is your essence as a man. It is what you came from. Your mom and your dad decided to get hot and heavy and you, those tadpoles, those sperm cells, swam with such vigor and vitality towards the egg to form the fetus and the baby and the man or the boy that you call you, that you watching right now, right? Life force energy is the essence of our life, okay? Semen is your man juice, okay? The way I look at it is, have you ever seen women who are glowing during pregnancy? Well, in a sense, for men, your semen, your man juice, when you retain that, when you hold on to that, when you keep that from leaking out from your body, you get the man glow, right? When you start to glow as a man, it's because you're full, you're briming with life force energy, right? When you have more life inside of you, the same way a pregnant woman has more life inside of her, right? More blood flow, more optimized hormones because she is supporting a fetus is very similar to a man having a lot of life force energy in his body, a lot of vigor and vitality. Female pregnancy, mom glow is very similar, is like the female version of the man glow or retaining your semen is like the female version of having a baby and having the pregnancy glow, right? They're very two similar concepts. There is more life within your body. And when there is more life within your body, naturally it wants to express itself, right? What is sexual desire? What is sexual urge? Sexual urge is that desire to procreate. It's the biology. It's the life within you wanting to create more of life right? And the essence of semen retention and sexual transmutation is once you harness that life force energy within your body and you allow it to build up, it's going to want to seek expression, okay? Sexual transmutation is transmuting the urge, the, the, the desire for sexual gratification, sexual 
intimacy. Transmuting that from a lower form, a basic, ba a base desire, right? Primal, lower chakras, primal urge to uh, have sex and form more life. It's transmuting that urge or tra transmuting that desire so that it drives you to desire something else, right? I always talk about before I did sexual transmutation, before I learned about sexual transmutation, I was sexually frustrated, right? I was, when you're sexually frustrated, all you think about is, ah, I want sex, but I can't have sex because, you know, there's no one to have access to and I just, I'm just horny and I want to have sex, right? Before I met my girlfriend at the time, I was sexually frustrated. I just, I just wanted to have sex. But when I learned sexual transmutation, I went from sexually transmuted or sexually, sexually frustrated to successfully frustrated. Okay, did you get that? I went from sexually frustrated to successfully frustrated. This is what Napoleon Hill talks about in Thinking Rich. You turn the desire for sex expression to another form of desire. Your thoughts of obsessing about sex becomes obsessing about success, right? Do you see the power in this? When you harness your sexual energy, that energy still is within your body and it needs to be expressed in another form. If you don't express it or give it another outlet, it's gonna to be too much in your system and it's gonna to wanna to, uh, explode. It's gonna to wanna to be projected. It's gonna to wanna to be ejaculated from your body. But when you transmit this energy, what it does is it rises to different chakras, to different energy centers in your body and it drives you more towards the hopes, dreams, and desires that you have in your life. That's why athletes refrain from having sex. That's why athletes or fighters before their fight stop having sex, stop ejaculating so that they get charged up with energy. They become more aggressive, right? Because there's more life force in their body wanting to be expressed. And for a man, this could increase your testosterone. This could increase your drive. This could increase your ambition. This could increase your confidence because there's more of life within you wanting to express itself. And the way this helps you unlock your masculinity is because there's simply more masculine energy within your body that wants to be expressed, right? Really think about that. And drop it in the comments down below. I will go from sexually frustrated to successfully frustrated. Bada bing, bada boom. Pss. Okay, so I wrote some notes down. The other reason why I believe or I know that semen retention is going to increase your masculinity, unlock your masculinity, is because of this. Think about this, right? What happens when an animal hasn't eaten for a day or two and it's, it's hungry, right? Urgh, right? What is that? That's aggression, right? That's drive. That's the animal, whatever bio, biology is happening within the animal, it's driving it to hunt. It's driving it to kill. It's becoming more aggressive so that it can really channel its energy. Well, when you're harnessing semen in your body, when you're harnessing sexual energy in your body, that energy is almost like, ah, your body's like, I haven't had sex in a while. Urgh, I gotta go get some, right? I gotta go make things happen because I need to procreate your life, your, your cells wants to procreate, it wants to survive, right? Think about when you haven't eaten in a while, when you're hungry, that's why they call it hangry, right? Your blood chemistry, your blood, uh, your blood glucose, when it gets low, right? You have low blood sugar and you're, you're getting hangry. Hangry is a real phenomenon, look it up, right? Certain things happen with your biochemistry when you get hungry. You get more angry and aggressive because that energy will help you find a way to make things happen, to hunt, to forage, to get food, to sustain yourself, right? When your body 
isn't getting sex or one isn't procreating, it, it thinks it's in danger. So what it does is it drives up all the energy within your body to spur you into action, right? But as conscious beings, we have the ability to really direct and harness this energy, okay? And what do I mean by this? When you're hungry, short term, it causes you to be hangry. But when you consciously engage in hunger, when you consciously fast for a prolonged period, that hunger still is there, but eventually, if you can really harness that process of fasting, your body begins to go through autophagy, right? It starts to break down dead cells. It starts to recycle the weak cells in your body so that it can sustain itself, and as a result, you have more vitality. You have longevity as a result. You can live longer because you're fasting, right? You're preserving your energy. Well, synonymously, when you do semen retention, you are preserving your energy. You're preserving your life force energy. Short term, you can have bursts of aggression, male aggression, because you're, there's more primal force flowing through you. There's more power flowing through you. But when you engage in this as a conscious being, you realize, oh, I could transmute this energy. I can do a long-term semen retention, rise the energy center to higher energy, right? Or rise the semen, semen, the sexual energy, to higher energy centers, and a result, be more awakened, be more enlightened, be closer with God, bring it to the crown chakra, right? Flower the thousand petal lotus, be more intuitive, more everything, right? That's why when I did semen retention, I had more confidence, more courage, more aggression, right? More assertiveness because there's just more energy. There's more masculine energy within my body, okay? Now, I covered a lot that I really want, wrote down that I really wanted to share. There's not much more to say. If you're a man who's struggling with masculinity, there's a very good chance you're spending your energy. You're wasting your masculine energy on things that don't matter. You're wasting your energy on porn, on drugs, on video games, right? Gambling, shopping, consumerism. All of this taxes your energy as a man. And when you aren't preserving your energy, when you aren't engaging in practices that really harness control and direct your energy in a higher way, you're gonna waste it on lower things. I made a video about how porn, drugs, and video games are making or destroying or making men weak, right? Destroying the modern uh, modern day male. It's because these things suck your energy dry, right? People, men, joke about wanting to get their get sucked dry, right? Get their eggplant, their dick sucked dry, but they don't they don't really understand like the harmful detriments of getting sucked dry of your masculine energy. When you are born into this world, like a sand timer, you have allocated amounts of energy. As that energy drips, as that sand comes down and the sand hits the bottom and there's no more sand there, you die. So when you're constantly stroking your energy, stroking your energy, stroking your dick and leaking energy, your precious life force energy, the most dense form of jing that's within your body, when you keep leaking that, you are killing yourself. I think it was like the French, they say, ejaculation is a petite more, meaning a little death. You're literally killing yourself because that seed is supposed to be spread into a woman to form a new version of you, a baby, right? You're supposed to replicate yourself. But if you're just replicating yourself into a napkin or a, a sock or whatever you use to throw away your life force, you are killing yourself and you're not getting anything in return. You're depleting your essence, your masculine essence, and that is weakening you. So if you wanna unlock your masculinity with semen or attention, allow that energy to build up within your body. Engage in practices that really challenge your masculinity. Allow the energy to build up. Allow the energy to express itself in another form, and then use that energy, sharpen your tool, not that tool, sharpen your tool as a man, right? Sharpen your tool so that you can do it, get stronger at the gym, right? So that you can do bigger things in life. Sharpen it at wrestling, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, boxing. Use something, do something that challenges you 
physically, mentally, emotionally. Allow that energy to be transformed into a higher aspect. Allow it to unlock your masculinity, okay? Now, with all that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more, and drop some comments down below if you have any questions. And again, join the Facebook group, check out my free trainings down below on sexual transmutation so that you have a better understanding of how this stuff works. Have a good one. Peace.